following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials flat. You get the NASDAQ up 17. S&Ps are up 2.5. Uh, gold contract uh, down, uh, actually down 20 cents, 12.64. We have silver down 8 cents, $17.28. Cents. You get the platinum off 7 bucks, 9.43. Copper, copper down two pennies, 256. We have Light Sweet Crew. It's amazing, you know, we saw Light Sweet Crew go to the moon yesterday, end up being in the negative at the end of the day. It did. Down another 92 cents right yeah. now, $48.70. Uh, notes, the 10 year note down one tick, 125.16, 30 year bond up nine ticks, uh, 152.12, and King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up uh, 275 ticks. 99.190. The euro is 108 to the US dollar. Yen is trading at 111.5 to the US dollar, which is a big number, by the way, uh, compared to where it's been. And uh, today, big action today. Big action all day. Yeah, we've had earnings week, but today especially, right? Today especially. Microsoft, Google. Don't forget Amazon, Amazon, man. That's after the close today, folks. Okay, so the bottom line is that, and they all come out before the future market closes, which always makes In it exciting. In between 4 and 4.15, 4, you got 4, it. 4.15, you got to love it. <laughs> and you know who else loves it, folks? I think I might. Kevin Hinks, no <laughs> doubt about it. And folks, if you haven't listened to Kevin's show yet, it's an amazing show every day right here. Swim lessons, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. Get it right on your cell phone. You go to TFNN.com, you hit Tiger TV, and this, no doubt, the show's always great, but this is always one of the most exciting periods uh, every quarter. Lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. I, I'm so busy, I don't even have time to say good morning. Okay, really. that's it. That's so it. All right. All right. Get, we'll study so, for the program. We'll talk to you now. <laughs> you know, we have to go right into this. <laughs> Seriously, man. You know, after you, you're telling us some of the earnings are coming out yesterday, yeah. Kevin, right? Yeah. I pull them up this morning. Well, you tell us this week. I pull them up this morning. I'm saying to myself, oh, my God. This yeah. is like, you know, I've been doing this a long time, but... I didn't even know some of these companies. I mean, <laughs> right, right. I mean, and and what is it, Tom? It's this is like sensory overload going yes. into this week, right? Is it is it the government shutdown? Is it health care? Is it taxes? Is it earnings? Which is it that's driving the market right now? Yeah. And the answer is yes, all of them are. Yeah, right? and you yeah. know, you know, it's amazing. Is it is it NAFTA? You know, because yeah. you know what happened. Oh, by the way, NAFTA. Yeah, yeah. that's right. You, you keep we keep making the list longer it was, as the day goes on. You know, you know what was so cool is that yesterday between the peso and then the you know the Canadian dollar, and then those companies C and I got killed because that's the railroad company, of course, that's bringing goods from Canada coming in here. But Kansas City got killed because half of their business is bringing goods to Mexico. Okay. It's like, like bringing out of goods out of Mexico. It's like, wow, okay. man. I mean, they're, they're, things are moving, man. <laughs> I thought it was real interesting today. Uh, Wilbur Ross was on. And it's really interesting how... How he, you know, he is a great speaker. Yes, he is. In terms of how plain he puts everything and how simple he makes everything, and what how he described people are getting around NAFTA by sending goods to Mexico and then Mexico sending them to the U.S. cheaper and getting kind of taking advantage of NAFTA that way. Okay, is it was fascinating. Yeah, and you, it's what you don't realize how people are kind of gaming us. And it's not that we're doing anything crazy. I don't think this administration is doing anything crazy. All they're saying is, hey, these deals have got to get better. You can't just keep gaming us on this stuff. Well, the thing and that's amazing is that the gaming, though, is like the Walmarts of the world. So yes. this is where this is where sure. it's going to be. It's our own companies. So it's like, OK, man. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. This, this and Walmart, make no mistake, Tom, Walmart's got a big issue. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Most of the stuff they sell comes from somewhere overseas. Oh, sure. Yeah. No doubt. No They're not doubt. getting put together in America no. at those prices. No. You know, no. that's right. for sure. So right. we're, we're in earnings, right? Uh, I mean, this, I, this afternoon, of course, we got Microsoft, we got um, Google, and we got 
Amazon. Amazon. Right. Yeah. We started knee deep in earnings, then we're way deep. Now we're up to our necks. Yeah, I like it. Talk about a trifecta, man. Seriously. Right. right. Yeah, big day today. A lot of a lot of big headline names coming out with earnings late uh, later on today. So yeah, big big names. What are you talking about on the program today, Kevin? Uh, actually, what we're going to talk about since it's Thursday uh, and Thursday oh, is yeah, futures. futures. I was waiting for yeah. it. I didn't know if that. We're, yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about specifically trading options on gold and crude oil. Oh, baby. I like yeah. it. Yeah, so very specific, but options on those futures. Nice. Yeah, so it okay. should, be, should be really interesting because, remember, we're asking people to go a little further. Than, than where they are right now. We're yes. asking them to look at futures options, not just options. No, which is, which is really cool. Definitely. I know. Right. Yeah. We're going to show the similarities between trading options are options in most cases. Yeah. And, that, and, and what does happen, folks, is this, is that options in the futures market are so cool because it's definitely defined risk. And futures, yeah. you know, I love futures, but the bottom line is that, you know, you better... Be prepared for some good days and some bad days in futures. You can wake up and, you know, things can be very tough very quickly. Do you know what I mean? So. Right. It's exactly right. And that's why risk definition and learning that is so important. And learning how, not only risk definition, but learning how to add risk and lower risk at the same time by its strike selection and things like that. Golden yeah. oil. You're Perfect. amazing. Golden I know, oil. Right. Love it. 12 o'clock right here, folks. You want an education of a lifetime free? Swim lessons, 12 o'clock. Kevin, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to listening to the show. Always a pleasure, guys. You too. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Dow right now is up uh, 23. NASDAQ's up 21. S&P's up 4. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report. And make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
We take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, inside the uh, Dow Industrials first, see what the strength versus the weaknesses. Uh, strength out here. Look at that. Good old McDonald's is still uh, cranking along. McDonald's is putting 11 positive points in. Boeing's putting 13. United Health's putting 10. 3M's putting 10. Taken away from it, you have Goldman uh, taking away uh, 11. Uh, Chevron taking away 6. JP Morgan, 5. DuPont, 4. Uh, inside the NDX 100, the leaders Intuit is up 7.8 percent. Xilinx seven, PayPal six. Uh, taken away from it is that American? Yeah, American down. Ooh, that's seven percent. It yeah. has to come out with their earnings, maybe. Yeah, uh, Akamai Technology down four. Uh, Tractor Supply down three, and Citrix down three. Let's go. Let's just see what American is doing. So 338. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a classic too. So a lot, this is probably last time January, February, March, April. Yeah. So January looks like January 27th. They come out with numbers. They went from fifty dollars down to forty three, made it all the way back up to forty seven, and then gapped down again. Pretty wild. Um, natural gas, right? Natural it's, gas. It's uh, it's yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Let's, let's do this. Up. I just want to look at this. CLM, because well, when we got off the air yesterday, this oil looks strong, right? Look at the, oh, I guess it, well, intraday, it, it doesn't look as bad when you put it on a daily now, right? But it did, it got one Why don't all you the way zoom up, it in if we're going to talk about it? Yeah, you? okay, so we're not, went all the way up to 5020. Oh, well, that was the spike. Look at that, right when we got off. We're at 1050. At 10.50 a.m., it was. Fifty dollars and twenty cents. Sure. Then it went sideways until almost um, the pit closed. Yeah. Twenty passed, and then they brought it down. Yeah. Pretty wild. Yeah. So now let's go into that natural gas market and see what we have natural gas. So we're at three twenty-two. Well, I got to make sure this is the correct. Uh, I believe it's going to be, but take a peek. Okay. June over there. So if we get over to the Nadex platform, we get into spreads, we get into natural gas. 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. here. Yeah. Can you handle that? Yeah. Okay. And so we're looking at June. Yeah. Trading at 322. Okay. Looks like 325 could be a pivot point for us if we wanted to. Okay. Let's just jump around real quick before we get into it. See where. So 325, same point on the 12 o'clocks. And 3.30. Yeah, 3.30, 3.05. These are the bigger daily. Yeah. Um, and let's just jump into these, which is going to be a little smaller. And so there's 3.20 if we want it. So we could have 3.20 go until 2.30. Let's jump back to the 11 o'clocks, but just to keep in mind. Because what's going on is 3.25, we're going to have a negative bias here to the degree of like three pennies, which is a pretty decent chunk to be away from that, that point in terms right. of... So 322 is our point. Here's 325 up to 345. 320, oops, I got two of the same. 325 down to 305. We'll be selling the negative one. This is where our value is going to be because yep. we're under the box. $36. Okay. You can see already $36 is a lot because yeah. all that value is in there. Wow. Okay. And then there's, so you're looking at $44. But realistically, it's kind of a bearish trade with a little bit of an insurance policy to the top side. This kind of, I like to characterize those where you're three pennies away. And let's just see where we've been trading at to see, to get a feel just even this morning. Yeah, and so as you can see, the reason why we're away from that 325 point that. is because these got set yeah. somewhere up here, right? Six o'clock this morning, it was at 325, trading right. at 325. Right, so quite quite a move, you know, and if, if, we, if we wanted to, to get the positive, you know, you'd have to go 325 is going to be kind of our pivot point. Yeah. So you'd have to get up above there to make your $44. So you right. can see where that's kind of a bearish trade on those. Now, again, let's just say you wanted to take a similar trade on the bullish side. We'll jump to those 8 to 230s. 
Now these are bigger spreads because they're going until 2.30, but at least you can get 3.20 if you wanted to. Okay, so then it's going to take on a bullish bias. So we'll pull them both up. These go till 2.30, same contract. We're looking at 3.20 to 3.60. And then on this one, the bullish one's going to be the expensive one. Here's yep. all our value to the upside. 35. Okay, 35. To the downside, 17. Okay, and now the reason why the one that's out of the money is more expensive than the previous is because number one, you have more time. Yes. And number two, though, you're only 1.8 pennies away, whereas the other one, we're almost three pennies away, right. right? So we're a little bit closer, we're not quite as far out of the money, and we have a lot more time. So, just your options, there's at least $52 with a slightly bullish bear, um, bias instead. Okay. Yeah. I know, not quite lining up as, yeah. as they usually do. No. The sweet spot, of course, is when they line up right where you're just paying premium on each side. So when right. you're making a volatility trade, you don't want to be paying for the intrinsic no. value. Yeah, because you're not you're not making a directional trade. Right, 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 right. So we'll see where it shakes out. We've gotten some movement. 322. We got the news coming out in about six minutes. And what you will get uh, this afternoon, folks. Okay, which is going to be pretty cool too. Is that so? If you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, a great time to do it. Um, and as you know, hit the banner, bring up the exchange, to put twenty five thousand dollars of paper money into your account. Uh, because when we come into the close out here today, uh, Microsoft. Google and Amazon are coming out with their numbers between 4 and the last one, I believe, is 409. 409. Correct. Is, one of them is, is 409. We'll pull it up. Microsoft. And the other two are like at literally 4 o'clock and 401. Exactly. Now, what you're going to hope for, okay, I've done this quite a few times, and, you know, a couple times worked out, a couple times haven't. And a couple times what has happened is this is that one has got destroyed and the other one hasn't. And so, Meaning, sure, the equities. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and because they're so big, I didn't get the movement that I wanted inside the NDX. Well, what you're explaining is, let's say Amazon crushes earnings, yep. Microsoft and, does poorly, right. the index doesn't move. Right, right. That's not what right. you're looking for. Right. right. So you're looking, you know, you're looking for. You're looking for movement in the index you're trading. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and well, realistically, you're looking for all of them to either tank or all of them to go up, because then you're really going to get some heavy movement. True, man, true. Know? So right now, the NASDAQ 100, we're looking at the yep. June contract. We're trading about 55.60. Right. So I jumped in here um, just for a quick feel to see, because, you know, one of the things that you can do here is you can, like, let's say that we had, and I'm looking, you know, you have... From, you don't have them both lining up. You have one where 5560 is going to be the ceiling. You don't have one where 5560 is going to be the floor. Okay, so that's where if you want to make both sides of the trade. Now I know sometimes you just yep. might trade directly. And this is the 80 point spreads we're looking at now, right? Uh, this is a 40 point spread. Okay. There's only one 80 point spread that trades. So you're okay. never going to be able to do this type of trade with okay. the 80 point okay. spread, right? We, you need both if you're doing it. So I was looking to see if both lined up. Because one of the things that you can do is you don't have to wait until the end. Now you're going to pay right. a little bit more premium. Right. But that trade might disappear if you get a lot of movement throughout the yes. day. You might not be able to set up the trade where you're just, you know, right at the point. Right. So let's just jump around again. So those were the big dailies. Let's jump from the 8 to 445. <coughs> so again, Excuse we're me. at 5565. Okay. Yeah. Now these are going to be 30 point tr um, spreads, but they do have the option. So let's just take a look. Right now you can make that trade. And this is perfect. We'll tease it and then okay. we'll come back. We'll set it up. But here's 5565, 30 so, points to the downside. Yeah. 55.65 to the upside. Now this is going to be a lot of premium because they're only yeah. 30 points. Right. And that means they're fully achievable on each one. You're looking at $181 for a $300 profit. And guess what? We'll go over it, but you can always close one out and let the other one ride. Maybe right. get more. We'll see. We'll go over it. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. 
If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so, natural gas uh, stockpiles rose 74 billion cubic feet last week. Yeah, so we'll try and get the estimate. We're jumping around. We'll jump back to the Nanix platform, see where we're jumping on those numbers. And it looks like, uh, uh, so there you go. So 72 was the Bloomberg estimate, at least. Okay. That's always a good indication. So yep. we're pretty close to the estimate. Jumping back to the Nanix platform. We'll get back to that NASDAQ trade in a second. We're again going to commodities, spreads, natural gas. We'll pick one. Up 324, I already see it, so we're up a little bit from where the news came. Yeah, so about two pennies. But again, you can see not a dramatic move when in reality, you know, the bullish one would have worked out okay because yeah. we had a bullish bias. Right. So you only had to make the cheap one up, you know, to make yes. your money back. The bearish one, though, would have been a big problem if you're trading the 11 o'clocks. Because the bearish one, remember, 325 was going to be our pivot point. Right. So 325 becomes our max loss point. So, yeah, it's basically heavy. jumping up to our max loss point. Exactly, you know? exactly. Um, so let's jump back to the, the NASDAQ trade that yeah. we're looking at. <laughs> I like this trade. It's the NASDAQ trade. Of course you like this trade. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let's just jump back. So we were looking at the on this 15, one. Yeah. And again, we're at the, the smaller set of the ones that kind of get set at 8 in the morning versus right. the ones that are set the previous night. So we're going in here. We're trading at 55.62, call it right now. Okay. And these are 30-point spreads, which are $300. Yep. And you're looking at 30 points away from 55.65. Right. So again, you could say it has a little bit of a bearish bias, but we're talking about three points in the right. NASDAQ 100. Right. Not dramatic, right? So your max profit, assuming that only one of these contracts expires for value, which is yes. definitely not the case, as in you could get a huge move one way in the day. That's right. Close out that for maybe 150 to 200 dollars of value yep. immediately, and maybe right. hope for a, a, a reversal exactly. with the news and everything by right. the end of the day. But let's right. just say one of them, you know, your max profit's going to be 30 points, right. 300 dollars. So it's looking like again, this is the positive one. We're going to be buying it. Negative one, we're going to be selling it. 
We're looking at about $184 combined. I want so you're looking that. at 18.4. Okay. So that I need, I need. You I, want like I, that I, I amount that, of contracts, amount of this, no, just, that. I, I, he wants I, to do that, that, do one, it, that. Yeah, I want to do that trade. How many contracts? Just one. Just one on each. Yeah. Okay. You, I mean, this is this is <laughs> details, details, ever important as you want me entering orders for you. Um, okay. So you got two of them there. So again, right now, fifty-five, sixty. Here are your two contracts. Okay, I got confused here because there's your master spread. Here are the yeah. two we just entered. Right. There's the minus one. Your minus, your short. Here's the positive one. Your long. There's your value, about $180 that we got in there at. And you'll see. You'll see where that goes. So right. hopefully, I mean, you know, a great way for this to happen is, you know, you get huge movement ahead of time. Right. You take off at least all your investment, if not profit. And then, you know, and the reason why, just so that there's so much cost in this, you're saying, geez, that's $180, but the max profit is only $300, not even profit, the max value. Sure. Is because, realistically, there's a high probability chance that the NASDAQ will close up or down 30 points. NASDAQ 100 will close up or down 30 points. This is going to happen all, all the time on a news day. We have Amazon, Google, Microsoft. Right. So you're going to achieve that $300 a decent portion of the time, whereas when we're trading the oil numbers and the natural gas numbers, those spreads are so big, like natural gas, what were they, 20 cents? Yeah, exactly. Um, you're not paying as much premium because very seldomly are you going to get the full 20 cents when you see those risk versus rewards. Right. Yeah. And the way that I do this, folks, is that no matter which way it, no matter which way it popped, if it popped, I would sell that side of it. That's if you how, got that, a lot of value that's how in one of them prior to today. The, yeah, I would exactly. agree. I would agree. And there's a question, uh, oh, the, he, he, they understand now, okay, wh why we did this one. Be because, because of the fact that 20, 30 points in the SM, I mean, in the NAT, NDX 100 is not a lot. No, it's only yeah. half a percent. Right. I mean, to put things, I mean, we're trading right. it at 5,500, you know, 55 points is 1%. Right. You're only dealing with 30 points right. in, in on a day like today, for sure. And that goes to the thing that's going to be cool here. It'd be it'd be fabulous if I could close one side out before four o'clock. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's totally you know yeah. as you as you this is gonna move as in you know when it's in the middle of the spread, you'll be kind of right trading where it is. Yeah. So if you get a move down to you know let's say the the short one, you get a move down to like fifty five fifty. You, you're going to be able to get out at 55.50 if you want. That's 150 dollars right there alone. You could get out and almost cover almost the loss. Then you're only in it for 30 dollars, right. and you have a full 300 dollar potential if right. you get a pop coming into the close. Right. right, right, cool. All right, it's a beautiful thing. We'll see. So let's go see what the good old uh, Microsoft, uh, Amazon, and Google are doing out here. So uh, we go to let's go over to Microsoft first. So Microsoft right now. Uh, it's trading out at uh, 67.98. It's up 15 cents. That's right at its highs, man. <laughs> right at its highs. The and that is, yeah, that's uh, 409. So that's Microsoft's the 409. Okay. Yeah. Amazon. We take a look at Amazon. Amazon's also up eight bucks. Uh, that's going after its high, uh, 9.23. Now, the thing is wild here is that Amazon has a high volume high, so I suspect that's going to get hit. We'll see what, excuse me, I'd like to see it get hit before they come out with their numbers. And uh, Google, right? Yes. Did you go, what, what, what time did you, just, did you uh, go to AM, Amazon? Uh, 401. 401. Okay, and I okay. believe Google says 4 o'clock on the dot. Yeah, four, Google is like the ultimate of, uh, oh, look at Google. Wow. The business of the internet is a good business to be in these it, days. It is, and Google's just laying its highs. So, hey, bottom line is that uh, yeah, and it just says after market. After market, they're usually and, right and, after the and, bell. And yeah, Google like they're like a split second. Yeah, you know. So what I, what I'd like to see lay out here is that we get a small pullback before the fact, um, and I don't, I don't say I, I mean I'm shot that 80 point spread too. Um, and I'd close that 80-point spread after looking at, at Google and Amazon right now. Yeah. You know, so if we go over to the NQs for a second, folks, um, what you had with the NQs is that they spiked. Now, watch what happened here. There's a, there was a high-volume high from yesterday with monster volume up at 55.62. There was 13,000 contracts there, and that's what it was trying to do all morning, and that's, that's what it's still doing. You know, so. Yeah. 
the, the further it goes away from that, um, the higher probability that it can actually keep going. So. Talking about all these internet companies, I can't help you see the net neutrality laws getting yes. looked at yesterday. Yes. So that'll be interesting. You know, if people want to call in, I'd love to get their take on it because I just don't understand how, you know, allowing ISPs to to basically you know decide who gets access to the internet. I mean, that's you know, we do live content. If CNBC goes to all the providers and guess what, they start saying, why don't you throttle back that TFNN and make sure that everybody right. can get CNBC. That's basically what's going to be allowed. And um, it's pretty intense, the ramifications that could have in terms of free competition and what the Internet has. So we'll see where it shakes oh, out. There's, there's no doubt, man. But uh, when it first came up a long time ago, it was like, oh, no, because... Yeah, I mean, Facebook might not be around if MySpace had been able to throttle the Internet well enough at that time right. and make sure nobody could get right. to Facebook and MySpace right. had you know, all the, right. the needs. It's, right. it's pretty, pretty intense. We'll see what happens. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow Industrials right now are up five. NASDAQ's up 20. S&P's are up two and a half. Gold is flat. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is um, up to NASDAQ's up 19. S&Ps are up two and a half. And, you know, there's going to be, uh, these currencies are moving, folks, but there's going to be a lot of equities that you're going to be able to trade. So, Check this out. We were talking with Kevin Hinks about this. Uh, Kansas City. So when Kansas City Southern. So th this is 
just kind of remarkable, actually. When, when I, I saw this pop up in Bloomberg yesterday. So Kansas City Southern, you know, it's in Missouri. That's where it's headquartered, right? I'd never think that 50% of their business comes out of Mexico. Okay. Right? And so w watch this when, you, when we bring this down. I, re I read this earlier, so, but when you actually see the, the numbers, so their revenue, they get $1.2 billion out of the U.S. and $1.1 billion, billion out of Mexico. So watch what happened yesterday when it came out that, you know. Uh, We're almost going to opt out of NAFTA, right? Yeah, yeah, so the stock goes from 91 to 86. Sure. And then today it goes back to 90. And realistically, that's not even a big move in my impression. No, no. It, <laughs> if it, you're getting, you know, half your revenue comes from Mexico right. and NAFTA is about to get torn up in the White House. Right. It seems like 5% decline is not a dramatic move in terms of I, the implications that could have. There's, there's, there's no but, doubt. But guess what? Today they decided it's not going to get torn up. Well, w when this came across, I, and then if I go to Canadian Pacific, I, when I was looking at this. Now, this is where folks, technically, if you start looking at something to see where the money is, and then I realized that, well, here, we have to do Canadian Pacific. Now, it's just the opposite. Okay, with Canadian. Now, I don't have, have the exact numbers on Canadian Pacific, um, but Canadian Pacific, you know, come out with the numbers. They were great numbers. That goes down, okay? That goes down from, uh, this is where it come out with the numbers, okay? So it went down from 74. They weren't as great as the market hoped, but I don't no, know. No, you know, yeah, down to 72. Know, didn't, didn't, um, there was something in there that wasn't great, but. Yeah, so let's see if I can get this. I just, you, know, you can't the say US. they're great the next day it opens down six. So uh, this is a third of their business. Uh, they have eight billion out of well, Canada. Two thirds of their business is in Canada. One third in U.S. Right? Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's what I'm saying. Because okay, you said a third of their business. Well, it's the U.S. They, they don't have to. They make eight billion dollars in Canada, but okay. they make four billion in the U.S. And so the NAFTA would hit them. Okay. Just like the the Mexico part. Sure. It has to do with how much is coming into the U.S. Sure. Not, so, what happened? In both cases, after I actually looked at it, I said, you know what, man, this is just going to be big money fighting each other. It's not going to be done as easy as people sure, so think. The reason why I stalled there, they could have implications on that $8 billion. You don't think, you know, it's not just, oh, yeah. that's why you can't just say the $4 billion's in question, because if we cancel NAFTA, Canadian revenue might be in question, too. Yeah. Uh, so just so, you know, it's not, that's why I was lost on when you're saying it's only a third of what yeah. they're dealing with. There's, you know, they're basically across the board doing business in North America, and that's My, the North American Free Trade Agreement, yeah. North America. You know, and and you guess, it's not going to be, I don't, it's not going to be easy to do any of that stuff because the large companies, folks, have huge amounts of jobs, huge amounts of manufacturing, huge amounts of everything. I mean, it's, 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 it's out there. And that's, I, I suspect that's what we're going to see going forward, period. Well, much the biggest employer, right? Yeah. And they're probably the biggest ones. And, 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 and so look at this. This yeah. is, you know, when you look at these numbers, 2.3 yeah. million people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, early? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. let's go back over to, let me see what, what happened with this natural gas. So, UNG. No. We're up a little bit. Yeah. Let's take a peek at where I, we're trading. I, we're jumping around. Where are we? Natural gas. Pull this back up. Ooh, 326.29. So we're up about four pennies from where we were trading at before the news. You can already see that price even before it loads. Yeah. Yeah. So quite a move, but again, keeping in mind, if we had gone for the bullish with, um, you know, three, no, sorry, if we went for the 11 AMs, that was 325 was going to be our point. We'd have $16.20 maybe. Okay. But you can see the dramatic move. I mean, that's why I almost called it like a slight insurance policy to the upside right. versus a directional play or even a volatility play. Um, but the other one you could have done was uh, the 320. You could have done the 320 with a slightly bullish bias, right, where we were trading about 322. You get it at the 320s, maybe that was the daily, and that's one. But still, you're only talking about $62 of value when you're putting up 42, something like that, I believe one it was. One putting up 52. That was the big daily okay, one, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And NASDAQ 100, still kind of right around that pivot point. 10:30, get till 4:15, and really, a lot of that action might play out in between 4 o'clock and 4:15. We'll see. I know. I yeah. want it to play out before that, though. You do, because <laughs> that's why you wanted to play out twice. I do. Yeah. I do. I do. Yeah. 877-927-6648. Let's go overseas and take a look at uh, what happened uh, actually overseas um, last night. So, if we go to Asia first. Uh, you had uh, Hang Seng was up four tenths of percent. Nikkei was down one tenth. Shanghai was uh, up three tenths. Nothing heavy there. And Europe, you get the FTSE down seven tenths. The CAD off three tenths.
DAX flat. Let's go to the FTSE for a second. So these markets are just flat. It, that would be expected after the type of moves we have anyway. They need some energy, right? You know, quite I mean, a move. I hear you. A little resting time. Yeah. Especially with the big three coming out in terms of, you know, maybe waiting at some point, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. For sure. <coughs> yes. And let's see. Actually, let's go see when Apple comes out. So Apple comes out. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. That's Tuesday. I, there's that's Tuesday, May Tuesday, 2nd. 4.30. So keep yep. in mind, don't think after the market. That's not going to be moving those no. features within time. 4.30. Yeah. And then Facebook. Facebook. Wednesday at 4 o'clock. So a now, week. Fa Facebook can move the market. Facebook can definitely move the market. Yeah. So I assume that's going to be good earnings. They always deliver. They're always making more money than anyone can even imagine. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. They, they were, there's an article in the journal today. I didn't read the, the whole thing. Uh, but it's uh, that Instagram is starting to grow like Facebook. <laughs> okay. I would love to check that out because yeah. I always am very suspect when yeah. I see that, only because we've had these discussions before. Instagram numbers are included in Facebook I know. numbers. It's a double, right? So, even if Instagram is growing, yeah. all that might mean is that Facebook is getting a few more people that already use Facebook to maybe jump over to Instagram once or twice. And guess what? That might not have huge implications. If they're already monetizing that same person on Facebook, right. just because they're on Instagram, they might not be able to monetize it anymore. Right, what, right. If, what if they go over to Instagram instead of going to Facebook, they're going to Instagram now? So they're losing views on Facebook. Right. You know, maybe that person only has a certain amount of time per day to be on social media. Yeah. Maybe they're jumping over from Facebook to Instagram, so it's like the same amount of time the same user is spending on the same company, basically, because they're the yes. same company. You know, they own Instagram. Um, so it's interesting just to keep oh, all that is. in mind. No, I know. Because um, I just know, like, you can post a picture on Instagram, yeah. and it can immediately post to your Facebook platform. So they're very tied together, you know? So yes. it's not something where it's like, oh, you have extra um, Instagram ads, 100 million users in four months. And it now has 700 monthly active. And I saw, I saw this headline yesterday as well. And that's what it actually got me thinking about it, saying, you know. Yeah, it's a double count. It's, right. Yeah, it's not as, you know, it's not like a standalone company. Because all that is is Facebook having their people using another one of their products. Right. It's not the same right. as growing a user base, you know, organically or something like that. But, hey, numbers are numbers no matter what. Maybe they eventually spin Instagram off or something like that. Who knows? Yeah, he's not going to sell anything. He'll spin it off to himself. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I hear you. I do, I do. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's, it's, 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 there's no doubt that's yeah. intense. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Um, One more segment. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's only 10.50. You got it. Uh, and, of course, we got uh, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. And then the swim lessons, um, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White. I'll be back, but stay right there. We're going to be kind of talking Andy Heck tonight, too, as well. Andy Heck, it's a beautiful thing. Dow right now is uh, down 20, Nasdaq's up 13, S&P's a flat. We're going to right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. 
See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now uh, is down 25. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 11. S&Ps are off one and a half. And of course, uh, if you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right at the top of the carousel, our man, Mr. Andy Hecht. He has a new service. Uh, he's going to be uh, uh, launching the service Monday, May Day, May 1st. That's right, man. May is here on Monday. Uh, so Daily Essential Equities. He's going to be coming out with a daily newsletter. Begins Monday morning. He'll be doing it every single biz uh, trading day. Yeah. And so Daily Essential Equities, he's launching it on Monday. With that, he's going to have a webinar on Wednesday evening from 5 till 6 for subscribers okay. with the launch of his newsletter. It's going to be priced at $97 a month. Still an amazing deal for a daily trading service. 20% off is the introductory offer. So you're paying $77.60 a month. And this is one of the few times you can really lock in this rate. We always do deals first month. You, right. pay, you know, you get a free trial. You can lock this rate in. You know, he's going to have a core of people that sign up with him from issue one, and he wants to give them a great deal and lock them in. And so seventy-seven sixty a month, you get the newsletter, you get the workshop on May 3rd. And if you're not satisfied for any reason, you can have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied for any reason, you can let us know within 30 days of signing up and get a full refund upon request. So, you know, you're risking nothing if you're unsatisfied. You're locking in a great rate that could be for years if you stay there, 20% totally. off. And, uh, and you get Wednesday night's webinar, Opportunities in Energy Equities. He's going to be talking about oil, the sweet spot of $50. Right. He talks about that. He'll have a great show tonight, I'm sure. Commodities Hour, 5 till 6 o'clock. And uh, he's primed up. He's ready. He's ready for his new newsletter, man. Pretty cool. Well, let's go into breaking news. You, you got an article there? Into... No, 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 oh. no, no. What is that? They're old. Oh. But thanks. Okay. S&P. Uh... Yeah, they're old. Don't worry. The. Uh... Okay. So as as look at this. This is interesting. Okay, so let's go take a look. Uh, NQM seven. Eh, not that much. Well, <laughs> you always want more, man. Always want more. We're, we're, What's wrong we're with ten, that? We're ten is points. There, is there something wrong with that? There's not. But <laughs> but you're ten point. You're you're a whole third through the the spread. Just to put things in in perspective, you know. I mean, yeah. you're you're ten points into a thirty point spread. Um, that's natural gas. Close that one out. Yeah, just take a look at any one of those charts. Yeah, so we'll see where this shakes out. It's, a, I get, <laughs> it's I not a hundred points. I'll give you that. Uh, and let's just look at where the negative one is trading right now. So here's the fifty-five sixty-five to fifty-five thirty-five. Yeah. And so to put these in context, you know, I mean, you could. You could take 125 right now, okay? Yep. So you're only putting up 180. You could take 125 right now to the downside. Right. You could have your positive side open, and and you know only have about sixty dollars in risk now, for for a, a bullish poop. Trade, but just to see how quickly this is going to swing, you know. Right. I mean, that's that's. We say ah, it hasn't moved that much. I mean, you're dealing with only 30 point spreads, so. 
10 points in a five minute span throughout the day if you get 10 more points that might be all you're looking for to actually take that off it would be yeah oh, okay yeah now you're there yeah. okay no, we no, got there oh no no for sure that's okay. what, that's what i would do for oh sure. i see okay yeah <laughs> i want to get 30 points in the and the ndx is not not hard to get so I agree. Sure. And what would happen, though, folks, is that I wouldn't get the full amount there because the time value is there, too. But, well, there's going to be premium. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. yeah. As in, if the NASDAQ's trading at 5535, you're not going to be able to sell it at 5535 because right. there'll be premium. So if you want all 30 points, that's why, you know, right now we're almost at 5550, which is where it's going to be exactly square. Yep. And that's why when you start going past that, though, you're not going to get point for point movement. No. So that might right. be one of the ones where you take it off before you start yeah. waiting for five points of every NASDAQ point for one right. point here. Right. So realistically, you're getting close to that point. You're only five or ten points away where I think you want to consider taking it off. Mm. Oh, boy. You'll be talking about it this afternoon, I'm sure, man. Beautiful thing. And we'll have another one by this afternoon. That's you stay right. right there, man. Mr. Basil Chapman's coming up next, folks. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.